Hello everybody, welcome back to the channel. It's Ryan, kc 9 oza And today I'm going to kind of step back in time. I'm sure a lot of you watching get QST magazines. Well, I had happened to find these at a local MT flea market. So I purchased these. I got several from the mid-40s and some from the 70s. Um, some of them's in fairly decent shape. Some of them, as you can see, are got the covers torn, pages. I think overall I paid ten dollars for the lot, which I think there's fifteen magazines or so, a few duplicates. But anyways, let's go in. Uh, this one here is from October 1946. 25 cents US, 35 cents Canada. There's the front cover there. Fortunately, it's torn. It's on the front page there. We've got an ad from General Electric. And the first couple pages are advertisements. There you got Helicrafters Radio. Jensen Manufacturing, Collins Radio, and this one here just kind of talks about A medium power band switching transmitter. You get four bands. Schematic. Preventing self oscillation triode. Amplifiers. Technical topics. Pedance matching with an antenna tuner. Amateur FM. Was DX and it kind of talks about when not much on 80 this month except for a note they heard a bunch of stations they list those stations there which is kind of neat to see Hints and kinks for ex the experimenter. So this is what I like about some of these magazines. It's how they describe how you can make your own antennas. more ads So here's some more ads with some prices. A ham receiver. This one back in 
1946 was $274. Then you had to buy your power unit and your speaker. There's another one. It's a little bit cheaper. But this was a pretty good deal of money back then. There's a WRL Globetrotter transmitter kit. Radio Shack has their ad in here. So there's that one, and I'll go ahead and find another one here, and we'll see what it has. In so here's another one. This is November. 1946 and price went up a little bit from the other one this one now is 35 cents for US and here it talks about the AWRL's 13th sweepstakes from November 16th, 18th, 23rd through 25th, awards to section leaders, CW, and phone certification. In each club, use any hand bands, phone, or CW. Says their contest period. There's their medallion awards. There's explanation of the exchanges so this video could be very very long with all these so I'm just gonna kind of skip through some of the stuff but here they talk about a high gain 2 meter rotary beam 6 element broadside array with a coax feed And they kind of have other little technical topics. And here's a correspondence from members. Little stories. Here's another How's the DX. Some more hints and kinks. Some members, operators of the W1AW. more advertisements so I bought these because it's just really neat to see how far the technology in amateur radio has came and although a lot of people say oh it's too expensive to get into the hobby well stuff back then was a lot more expensive to get into so here's December 51 this is CQ magazine 
also 35 cents. There's Helicrafter. Some advertisements. Talking about the matchmaker. VHF News, talking about band openings in October, Midwest activity, news around Chicago, And here they have propagation conditions for Europe. Skywire and the law. They also have a mobile corner. It's kind of neat to see. Newcomers Byway. This kind of talks about new items and amateur radio back then. We have more advertisements. business card for CQ magazine receiver here on the back so let's go ahead and skip to the 70s Another QST. This one is December 1972. Price went up again to 75 cents. ATV Motorola T44 UHF transmitter. Notes on custom built repeater gear. Some more hints and kinks. Daytime national traffic system. Thirty ninth annual. AWRL International DX competition announcement and the 26th VHF sweepstake announcement. I got a ham fest calendar for December. Looks like the Oak Park Amateur Radio Club is having their fourth annual swap meet. Michigan, the 6th annual PhD Auction Swap Fest in Missouri, Liberty, Missouri, the SAROC Convention in Las Vegas in January, 
the National Post Office Net Meeting in the New York, the Yonkers Amateur Radio Club Annual Dinner on the 13th. Gives you a little calendar here of operating events. Some guys doing some contesting. Tintech advertisement. Looks like it was $229 back then. 10 through 80 meters. Here are some happenings of the month. Again, I'm just going to kind of scroll through these as it'd take me a long time and the video would be hours long. Just Trying to kind of show what the book showed back then. Some of you may have these or got these when they was new. If so, so and just kind of an overall look of how stuff was back then. And did this because him radio dude had done some older QSL cards so I had these so I figured I'd share these so thanks dude for the video idea so catch everybody later and we'll say 73s